Welcome back, everybody. It's more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. The Outward Nine of Pine Hills today. Uh, believe it or not, I haven't actually set a score for regular tees and normal cups. So it's today's open online, so we'll play it. Pine Hills, of course, being what I think is probably the hardest course. Oh, what? It's a par four. But um, we'll see how we get on. So we're straight into the wind. We'll try our little backspin technique. The theory being that if we hit it with backspin, we get an, um, a higher shot and we should go further uphill. But um, let's see if that works. Of course, you've got to hit the impact for that. So we just missed it. Got a bit of left hand sway. But that bunker shouldn't cause any trouble because there's no way we'll get up there. That's alright. So 105 to go. Into the wind still. I'm just going to run a bit right to left. So we'll want to get it up there. Get a bit of backspin on it. We're into Master the wind. Right. That going to come up a bit shy. Oh, that's, oh, that's not bad. I'll take that. Roll with it. So we've got nine foot. Go for the birdie. Now again, the greens are tough here. You get a lot of break on them. See if we can read the putt to get going. Yeah, we can. No, start with the birdie. Always a good way to start. Nah, so we haven't set a score on this, but we have played it. I probably played it as 18, didn't I, when I did the preview. So we've improved our score there. But that was probably the first time I played this hole. It's a powerful. I may even have played it with normal clubs like an idiot. So, downhill. Bit of wind. So chase this one down. Got the ultra top spin. So we'll get a lower shot, but because we're going downhill, that shouldn't impact us too much. We should keep us out of the headwind a little bit. Oh, we're just going to roll off, aren't we? Oh, are we going to go in the water? Oof, no, we're in the rough. So, a fair bit of distance, but a bit of a mistake, really, because it makes it much tougher now. Not only do we lose a bit of length, but um, it makes our prediction of our accuracy just that much more difficult. So, we're going to lose a bit on the impact. We've got a bit of wind. Okay, let's try for about there. Try and backspin it. Ooh. That's not bad considering out the rough. It's pretty hard to get them close. And you've got to get them close here. I mean, look at that. Even as a six footer, that's a tricky path. Swooping down, I think. Breaks to the right. Easy. Hopefully, I've judged that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, got a bit of luck there getting it quite so close. But a birdie birdie start. That's a pretty good way to go. Is a par three. It's a par three straight into the wind. So I want to get this past and bring it back if I can. Oh, I'll get the ultra spin on it. Oh, nice shot. Let's see how close we've got it. Uh, line let me down a little bit. The spin should bring it back on. We're on the fringe. So let's play a chip. I like the nine axe. It settles better when it lands. Hopefully this has got enough legs on it. Yeah, get in, get in. Thought I'd missed it for a second and just decided to drop. So three birdies to start. Four's a par four. It's a par four. Okay, we've got a bit of a crosswind on this one. And quite a narrow area to try and land it in. So we'll, we'll try and give it a little bit of little bit of shape. We don't want too much side spin on this. We don't want to go into the trees. That hopefully should clear the bunker. Adjust, yeah, and then straightens out. That's okay. That's not bad. So 106 left. Long way uphill, so we might need a bit more club. Oh, neat shot. That's not bad. Again, you're going to try and get it close. This could be quite tricky. Yeah, look at that. So it's going to be a foot down. So I don't really it's going to break late. I don't know. Let's go about there. So. Oh, tough to judge. Oh, 
Oh, let's play about there. And then it's just going to break. Oh, I needed a touch more and it just runs away from you. Oh, man. So, that break on the top of that ridge. Look at that, I've ended up 16 feet away. Line was nearly right, though. Line was nearly right. Okay, so we're uphill. It's going to pair like it's about 25 foot. It's going to break a bit. Okay, let's try there. The pace should hold its line a bit better. Yeah, it's a good putt. It's a good putt for a putt. Just a shame that birdie putt was so far away. That ridge was absolutely killer. But you can see the criticality of getting them close. So, downhill again. With a bit of luck, should be able to get it up over here. Going to need the ultra side spin. I can get it. Oh, completely messed that up. Going to pay the price. I think we're still in bounds. Have I got a shot there? Don't take your eye off the game. Oof, just, but that's going to be tricky. I can't really go through the trees, so we might have to just try and play up here somewhere. Just give ourselves a second shot. Yeah, good shot. So we're a bit behind the eight ball on this hole. Luckily, we had a shot to the fairway. So still got 225 to go. Uh, we need to pull out all the all the tricks now. So we're going into the wind a little bit. Oh, trying to avoid those bunkers. Oh no. I ended up in the rough. Okay. So we've got to get this up. I might just turn the, the chip set. It just gives us a bit more bump. I need a bit more height on it, really. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's a 12-foot putt to save my par. Actually, it's not an awful putt, is it? Swooping uphill. That could have been Break much worse. The left. Could have been much worse. Go on. <laughs> so that was a heck of a par, really, considering the first the tee shot mistake. I got away with that, really. So six is a par four. four. Six. It's a par four. But this course punishes you, but in a fair way, I think. You know, I made a mistake, but I did have a chance to kind of come back at it. Again, a bit of size been really. Oh, I need to clear those bunkers. Yeah, and it shouldn't roll on too far. Yeah, it's not a bad shot. So 127 left. Again, long way up here, so we're going to need more club. Got the backspin. Masterful. So if we're up there, it'll hold. Oh, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Ah, just needs to be a bit shorter. Okay, so we've got a chip. So we'll get the old 9 iron out. It needs a bit more because of the impact. Yeah. Oh, go on. Yes! Great chipping. Just left it on the right side just for the chance to drop. So it gets us to 4 under. Another par four coming up. Oh, seven. It's a par four. So seven goes round to the right. Now sometimes you can hit it up this little alley here. Yeah, and the wind's gonna help me out a bit as well. Oh, got the ultra top spin. Oh need you. So through that little avenue of trees. Hopefully it doesn't kick too far left. Yeah, that should be okay. That's a decent tee shot. So about 80 to go. A little bit of crosswind. I'm not much green to play with either, so I need to get this on and spin it back if I can. You don't really want to drop it short. Yeah, better long than short. That'll bring me back away. Oh, great play! So, 11 foot to go. Oh, again, landed the right side of the hole. Look at my in the other side, break much more right. severe break. So again, we can get this with pace to try and hold it. 
it's going to need probably half a cup left, I think. And then if we hit it firm, it should hold its line a bit better. Yeah, oh, right in the middle. Right in the middle. So much easier when you get them close and on the right side. Uh, so, par three next. I say a par three, it's 250 yards long. So it's an iron in, luckily. If you play this with championship teeth, it ends up being a driver or a wood in. Mm. So again, got to be super accurate here if you can. Got the ultra backspin, not a lot of sway, so it should be on a decent line. Wind will take it left a little bit. Oh, that impact got me. Just pitched it off. However, chip mac. We like a chip. So again, we're in the rough, so we're going to lose a tiny bit on the um, on the impact. Oh, I kind of scuffed it. Pace was been oh, mine, wasn't it? So we just have to take our par here. Nice par. So five under still. We've got the ninth to come. Last one. Oh, nine. It's a par five. Nine is just super long. <laughs> How much your man want? wants a big drive? Yeah, over 320, see what we can do. Try and play over these bunkers. Off you go. Great shot. Should clear them. Yeah. And we just gotta hold it. Don't wanna run out to the right. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's okay, it's okay. Get our pops on two gems. 432 is a bit of a beast of a drive. Not my record though. I need a tailwind for that. So, in at the pins. Bit of wind. Seven iron in. Let's go maybe about there. Be able to backspin on it. Must have hold. That's right. Ooh. Well, it's not going to be bad. Oh, well done. Don't let the eagle slip. Just look at that slope. Sloping downhill. Sometimes best to just play them. Don't look at them too long. Oh. oh. Barely, barely missed it. And it ends up six Chance foot away. Yeah. Uphill putt's much Oops, easier. You can hit it firmer. It should hold its line better. Oh. Just sneak our birdie in for six under. So not, I mean, there's more to come there. I can definitely get a better score, but no bogeys, which is always good. Just those pars I need to improve on, really. But again, it's about getting it close. You know, look at that 16 foot, 11 foot, or four and five. I need to get them closer. Need to get them closer. Yeah, people get 12 and 13, aren't they? Uh, that's not so bad. It's a quick look at the stats. So obviously we didn't set a score. Uh, beast of a drive. Good impacts, good fairways. Didn't hit as many greens as I'd liked. Never mind. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of Billy's Golf. Nice